the G Way Podcast with Deacon Dirty. Have you heard a joke from a comedian, whether it was one of the Chris Rocks or of whomever, and said, I got a tag for that. If they would have just said this, that would have. All the time, man. Yeah. Not, not nothing specific, man, but like I'll just get to flowing and I'll just be hearing it. I'll just be hearing it and just like that part of my brain will just start clicking. Like, mm-hmm. bro, when I'm out on the scene and I'm saying I'm just listening, and you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And sometimes I'll hit people with it, but you know what I'm saying? And sometimes I won't. It just depends. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I've had somebody be like, dang, bro, you, you don't even need to be saying that joke. But I can. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. right. <laughs> is, is there anything too far? Uh, What's the there's limit no for there's you? no subject off limits, man. Mm-hmm. There is no subject off limits. There's nothing that you can't talk about. There is nothing that you can't say. But if you're gonna say something reckless, there's, it better be funny. <laughs> I, yeah. I tell everybody. Is there that, a too soon? It better be funny. <laughs> it yeah. better be funny. I t- because be I've seen it. How much stuff comedians can get away with if if the crowd is with them. If they think if yeah. they won the yeah. crowd over, yeah. Like, oh, he actually said that. Yeah, because I, I had a joke about COVID where I was just like, it only took 600,000 people for me to get my life together. And some people will laugh and some people will be like, ugh. Mm-hmm. But, like it's, but like, if you're doing your... <laughs> <laughs> See, look at... <laughs> See, nah. So like, yeah, it's just like I said, I mean, it's real. It's honest. But if you're telling the truth, mm-hmm. you're going to either you either you're gonna either make somebody happy or rub somebody the wrong, wrong way. Yeah, so there's there's that. nothing you can really do about mm-hmm. that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I just focus on the people who are here, if they, who are with me. If they're not... Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I mean, what you want me to do? <laughs> I mean, not not like I'm, I'm not apologizing to you. I'm just, I'm sorry mm-hmm. you feel that way. I, what you want me to do? Right. <laughs> like, if there was a sitcom that you could be on right now, let's go with comedy oh. since we're in the lane. If there was a sitcom that you could be on right now, what sitcom would that be? That is a great question. That is a great question. He's like, I fit in. I know I would fit in well on a set of that show. Dang, that's a show. good question. Uh, uh, I would probably say... Either the George Lopez show or the Wayne's Brothers. I was the okay. Wayne's yeah. Brothers. I was Lo- George Lopez show was good too. Oh uh, yeah. yeah, George Lopez show and mm-hmm. Wayne's Brothers. Wayne's Brothers was my favorite '90s sitcom. That was like, out, of, yeah. out of all the one, all the all the ones that was the one that stood out to me the most. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Marlon Wayne's is my dog to this day. I'm a huge <laughs> fan. Yeah, Marlon Wayne's. Somebody else is in there. Yeah. my top there. Uh, yeah, black, black and Mexican. You could actually do both. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's why I picked those two. Uh, nah. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, no, but yeah, I mean, but but you also have we talked about this with Christopher uh, James. That uh, that you have this ambiguous kind of look to you too. So um, yeah. we know, but we don't know. You know yeah. what I mean? So you, it's almost like the Rock. You know, the Rock can kind of ease in in yeah. different kind of ways. Whether they're pairing with a black woman or a white woman, mm-hmm. uh, and it works. You know what I mean? And I'm learning that um, because, like, even us uh, doing three hundred three one lately. Because like, I just the acting stuff, I literally just fell into in the okay. last like few years. Because mm-hmm. I just been smooth out here, just doing comedy, <laughs> uh, doing stand up, and just yeah. trying to do whatever I can. But then, like I said, in the last week, that's, that type of stuff has started to come my way and it keeps coming mm-hmm. and I'm not even really looking for it. It's just coming. Gotcha. Like, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm like, I'm starting to like see how like other people perceive me and like, mm-hmm. you know, and see me and trying to, and I'm getting to the point now where I'm starting to use it to my advantage. Mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, I'm here, you know what I'm saying? And people keep on putting me in those, in those situations. So I might as well. Right, right, right. Uh, but yeah, man, I never really thought about that until people made me made me start thinking about it. You know what I'm saying? I was just be like, I just I'm I'm just here. <laughs> I'm just existing in this plane. That's right, right, right. <laughs> kind of moving along with, yeah, the, with yeah, the flow yeah. of it. Yeah. What's the end goal? Ah uh, man, I would just love just a full time career in comedy, man. I don't even really okay. do this stuff to be famous or nothing like that. A lot of people do want to get famous and like you know what I'm saying, all power to them. I don't do this at all to be mm-hmm. famous. I literally do it because I don't feel like there's anything else I can do. Like I mean, like Outside I have other school. It. Yeah, I mean, I, ha- <laughs> I mean, I have like you know what I'm saying, like other skills and whatever. Mm-hmm. But like. I keep getting fired, bro, because I be running my mouth too much. <laughs> and like, like everything ain't funny. <laughs> I, yes, it is. <laughs> you gotta look for the joke. <laughs> yes, exactly. Find like, the funny. You know what exactly. <laughs> I, I just, bro, it just, it, like, again, this is just me. It comes mm-hmm. naturally to yeah, me. Yeah, I don't yeah. do it to offend nobody. I yeah. don't do it to hurt nobody's feelings. But I just, this is me. Like, you know what I'm saying? I've just have always been this way. And then me doing being this way in that arena is. Is, is how you thrive mm-hmm, you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. so i just go i just go to the path of not so much like least resistance but the path that like flows yeah yeah since i like you know what i'm saying since i've been doing comedy and stuff like and these last couple of years more opportunities coming in more money's coming my way more like productions have been coming my way and okay stuff. like the more i just put my head down and focus mm-hmm. on comedy and treat it like a career the more stuff comes to me you know what i'm saying because mm-hmm. i just it, like I said, it's just like I said, I'll just be being me and doing myself, and it just it comes natural. And I don't have no problem doing other work because, like, 
I like I legitimately love, love doing do. doing right. do, legitimately love doing this. I don't mm-hmm. do it for fame. I don't do it for clout. It's just I love doing it. Right. You know what I'm saying? And all the other stuff just kind of just comes. <laughs> what kind of uh, uh, projects do you look? Uh, are you looking to uh, for chicken tacos? Mm-hmm. Ch- is it tacos? Chick- chicken taco, just chicken, chicken taco, taco productions, productions yeah. to yeah. Uh, to put out. Uh, well, I have a um, show that I'm producing right now with my partner Lisa Smith called Love Is Trash. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a. Uh, <laughs> Did I see that on your page? Yes, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah, a yeah. Um, it's a new concept that we kind of came up with. Uh, well, love in is a, trash. Yeah, it, factuals, actual. <laughs> it can factuals. be trash. It can be actual factuals, but nah. Uh, That's what can, a heartbreak will do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what a Haitian will do to you. Anyway, uh, no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. kidding. Not all Haitians is bad. I'm kidding. Yeah, anyway, right, right, right. anyway, uh, so yeah, we came up with the uh, so because we had both went through a real bad breakup and then we just got to talking and and then we got talking about it and then talking to some other comedians about that. Everybody has had some like terrible dating mm-hmm, experience, mm-hmm. some terrible relationship experience at yeah. some point or another. So we created like a talk show format okay. where uh, where we'll have a creative or we'll have like a a, a regular person tell us whatever story or whatever their situation was and then that me and Lisa will react to it and just try to make it funny because okay. nine times out of ten it's like terrible it's like you know what I'm saying all these things are terrible when you're going through them mm-hmm. but like you know what I'm saying but like time heals all right. and then that's what comedy is mm-hmm. taking like the terrible things taking like the ugly things and putting like not putting, so much a positive spin on it putting a, on yeah, it. Putting a yeah putting mm-hmm. a good spin on it yeah you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying so uh like for example, we had a uh, a lady tell us uh, a story about how on the first date, man, this dude had her making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with with Kroger brand peanut butter, and then they watched shot us, and then they ended up getting married and divorced. That was never gonna work. We're gonna say y'all watch shot us on your first date. That's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> That was a red flag. What are yeah, you doing? That's funny. <laughs> uh, then we had another dude tell us a story about him. Why he went to this college for uh, he had a, a, a college offer to go someplace else. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But he went to go with his high school sweetheart. Mm-hmm. But she went. But and then he had to walk in. I'm finding her cheating with two dudes. You got what I need. I was there. I was there. I yeah. was right he there just a friend. Yeah, bro. It was. Yeah, I, it, man. It hurt my soul when I heard that. That hurt I, just you. Yeah, telling bro. Me I, now, I bro. cried a little bit on the inside. Oh, All right, so, man, man. Lisa got up. She couldn't. She couldn't. She, I was like, man. I, I looked down. I was like, oh, oh, kissing my girl in the mouth. No, that's not what she was kissing. Oh, no. Wow. <laughs> wow. It, it, like you feel me? So uh, yeah, we actually have a really big show. Yeah. Tonight. Uh, tonight. There's certain things. I think you can walk. <laughs> There's certain things I think you can walk in on. I don't. How can I say this and it be PG at least thirteen at the very? I see you're busy. <laughs> Walking in. I just need to get my charger. Like two percent. You want to bother you? Yeah, because me personally, I don't care what I walk in on. I'm walking out and y'all good. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I, I, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong here. I think you can probably work it out. I think, fellas, you can probably work it out if you walked in and your girl is having relations with the guy, right? Head first. Versus you walk in with your girl having... Multiple relations. Well, <laughs> okay, that's the third one. <laughs> that's an entanglement. But uh, well, <laughs> that's the thing on. You ever seen that uh, 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 king? What they call it? The, when all the rats get together, it's called like a uh, uh, rat king. Rat king or something like that. Yeah. It's just all this yeah. hodgepodge yeah. of things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, bro, they playing Twister. I cannot. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> okay, walking in and she and them, he he and her, or she and him are in missionary. Versus walking in and she and she is praying praying to I ain't no telling yeah I could do a mention that because we don't be doing that I'm more fun than that so it's like yeah you just you just needed to go see what's up you know what I'm saying he was being real nice but you, you'll come back you know what I'm saying <laughs> ain't no coming back from the other one. <laughs> <laughs> ain't no coming back from that other one she was already like yeah. that <laughs> obviously y'all go together now, yeah right, uh, right. clearly that's yeah. your man you y'all, 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 y'all y'all good y'all good just uh, you know what I'm saying take Change my sheets and, yeah. and, and delete my number. Get yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Tell your story walking. Uh, oh, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. No, that's People have been telling us right some there. stories, man. It's, uh, I can it's, imagine, bro. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Uh, um, because we had, we both went through our situation and stuff, and I'm saying again, being able to like talk to all these different people about these like stuff. And then, like I said, take these like stories and like put a positive spin and on it. Put a spin on it, Yeah, right. and then, like I said, uh, and, and dating is trash, man, especially post-COVID, man. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So it's... Uh, 
I feel like it's timely. I feel like it's good. And I really believe in the concept. We're actually uh, sh- uh, doing a live recording of this show tonight mm-hmm. at the ATL Lofts. Uh, okay, at, that's what's up. Yeah, at 10 p.m. We, we've been doing it at the Roll Call Theater for uh, the last few times. Mm-hmm. But like you said, we wanted to move it someplace, you know what I'm saying, where we could uh, generate a better better profit, gotcha. get better uh, visuals, you know what I'm saying. So we got uh, Slutty Vegan's videographer nice. uh, shooting it for okay. us. Uh, you know what I'm saying. We got my homegirl, uh, Miracle, capturing the Miracle shout out. She said taking pictures. And then we got a great lineup, great lineup lineup so many dope people um mm-hmm. on the lineup man uh plug chapman marlon ballard you know what i'm saying um yeah i really look forward i really look forward to, to, to the show tonight uh put a lot of work into it a lot of work and a lot of money <laughs> yeah, yeah <I laughs> oh my god you. oh my god being your own producer is so expensive <laughs> <laughs> and I, I think that's prop that's probably in production is where you spend the money yeah oh, man it, 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 it man 